I definitely think investors can continue the bullish rally. What we've seen in 2021 um, is every time we've had a kind of a reaction pullback with news, there's been a congruent rebound um, in the markets, especially in bullish activity uh, in the coming days and weeks. And so I think that's kind of been the theme of 2021. So investors right now can hold and keep their positions. I do think we've seen new data coming forth um, about the Omicron variant that has been promising. As far as people, as you were mentioning earlier on the program, as far as people having that third booster shot, um, we're seeing that first FDA-granted Pfizer COVID pill soon to be released. So there's a lot of positive data in our fight uh, versus the virus. Um, so investors really have been bullish. Consumer sentiment obviously ticked up higher um, in the most recent print, which is a positive news. Consumers saying, hey, we still believe, we're still willing to spend, we still are flush with cash. So the markets have, have acted accordingly um, in those those cases. So, so, so far, standpoint, we've really been holding, especially in kind of our big mega cap tech positions, Dom. So big mega cap tech maybe hasn't rebounded as sharply as some of the other parts of the market. We just we alluded to it earlier at the top of the show, this idea that value oriented stocks seem to still be outperforming some of those big tap, big cap tech and, and communications and media type stocks. What exactly then would you be doing with your shopping list? What do you buy? Do you buy those big cap tech stocks or do you go elsewhere for maybe some of the reopening trades or industrials or materials that could be there in, in this possibly inflationary environment in the coming six to 12 months? Yes, that's, that's a great question. In the coming six to 12 months, we are continuing that strategy, to one, to be diversified. Obviously, we're going to stay overweight in big cap tech because of a couple, few reasons. Uh, we still like some of the big streamers. If you're looking at, obviously, Netflix, um, that's been you know pulled back a little bit, but I still think there's going to be a rally to come there. But if you're mentioning some of the areas that are headwinds for the market, um, a hawkish Fed, uh, as, as we mentioned, so that's obviously bodes well for rising rates in 2022, which would, as you mentioned, be a better play for financial. In some of those areas, when you talk about the bank stocks, we're talking about some of those defensive staples. Uh, when we're looking at also the second headwind, which is inflation still um, rearing its head. So we have a two pronged, obviously diversified approach. Um, I do still think investors can hold and potentially look to add to their highest conviction mega cap positions. We like Microsoft, we like Apple. Um, those businesses are going to continue to flourish, obviously, in the coming six to eight months. But still having exposure to defensive positions, to financials, um, to consumer staples would bode well for investors, because I don't think we see uh, a multiple two-digit rally um, or two double-digit rally in 2022. There's possibility for more headwinds um, and some of the kind of bullishness to be taken out of the market in the coming six to eight months. So, so one last question before we let you go. A lot of the big move yesterday in consumer discretionary was due to a massive rise in Tesla shares. Elon Musk may have been done selling, but apparently he sold a little bit more. Do you feel as though the drop in Tesla shares from the record highs are enough for you to want to get into Tesla at this point? That's a great question. We, we've been holding Tesla for a while. I did add to some positions. And it's really just a long play. It's a much volatile stock, obviously, a, a stock that's very contentious on both sides for the people that um, have opinions on it. But we like it, obviously, not, not just for the deliveries that continue to hit the delivery numbers, um, but it's more than, obviously, a manufacturer uh, of electric vehicles. There's a bigger play here. And even with an insider like Elon, the CEO, selling, or actually the Techno King, selling a bunch of shares, um, we believe in it long term. I mean, the market cap, you can't argue with the valuation being so high. Uh, but we've been holding for a while. We'd like to add to a high conviction stock uh, when there are dips. So we have been adding to that position.